Greetings everyone, Carrie here with RT66 Auctions. Today I wanted to put together a little bit of a video, mostly a, kind of a picture slideshow of a auction we have going on right now in Grants, New Mexico. It's an estate auction, but it's got a lot of really interesting cars and some car parts and some really kind of cool old stuff. So I want to highlight those and unfortunately I wasn't able to do a video while we were out there. So I'm currently in my office and we'll put something together and let's check it out. Don't forget, go to rt66auctions.com. Check out that auction, bid on stuff, and check out our other auctions as well. Let's get started. And here we'll get started with a 1979 Chevy Camaro Z28. Has been sitting for a while, but it definitely has a lot there. Seems to be fairly complete. Has a 350 V8 four barrel automatic with air conditioning. And up next, we've got a 1949 DeSoto. It's actually a two door. It's got the flat head, six cylinder engine and the fluid drive transmission, which is actually quite fascinating how that works. And then here we've got a 65 Ford Mustang. Definitely is a project. Does not have an engine or an interior. The interior is actually sitting off to the side, but as far as body-wise, definitely seems to be fairly clean and not really a lot of rust. Then we get into the, we have actually three of these. There's a 53 Chevy Bel Air four door with an engine. It's got the inline six. And then the next one we have coming up is also a 53 Chevy four door. But this one is actually a 210. And that's this one right here. Mm -hmm. So uh, trim wise from the Bel Air to the 210, the Bel Air definitely had a lot more stuff. So this is the 210, which is a bit more of a base model. But it does have quite a bit of parts there with a six cylinder engine. And this is the kind of one that everyone wants a Bel Air two door hardtop. So it does not have any pillars between the window and the rear window. Um, a lot of the parts are not connected, but a bunch of stuff definitely does seem to be there with that. It does not have an engine. Interior is fairly stripped out, but the good bones are there. And this one's interesting. It's an 82 Dodge Challenger, actually built off of the Mitsubishi Sapporo platform. Fairly complete, very interesting car. Definitely has a bit of a rodent issue though, as we see going into the engine compartment. It is completely filled. Couldn't even really get a good picture of the engine. Then we get into some of the 20s vehicles. We got 20s Dodge Brothers. Um, this one is mostly a body frame with the wood wheels. And then we get into, this one's actually a Nash, which is quite interesting. Uh, Nash is the six cylinder overhead valve engine, which the engine is there with the cylinder head. Definitely has been sitting apart for a long time. Then we get into another Dodge Brothers. It has a bit more of a complete body. Also has the wood wheels. This one does have um, part of an engine that is still there. It looks like the cylinder head is missing, but the block is definitely there. I know those have the kind of an odd starter generator, but this one is an Overland Whippet, actually. A bit of the bodywork frame is there. Part of the engine is also there. It does have its wood wheels. There's the Overland Whippet emblem on the grill. There's the engine. Fairly complete. Not sure what it all is missing. This is a 71 Oldsmobile Tornado. Fairly early car. It's got the 455 V8 front wheel drive. Again, like everything here, it has been sitting for a while, but there's definitely a lot of stuff here for it. I was not able to get into the trunk. As we see, here's the engine, quite a large engine. It sits very odd because it's a front wheel drive. Then we get into an 89 Pontiac Firebird. This one, if I remember it, was a 305 V8 automatic. Uh, from what I was actually told, the uh, family of the estate, the mother actually bought this car brand new and they drove it around in Germany, kind of interesting. This one's a very fascinating car. It's a 49 Kaiser Traveler. So it's kind of the first multi-use vehicle. So it's a four-door, but it has the back that opens up that you fold the tailgate down and it's got these wood slats, put the seat down and it's a, it's a very unique vehicle. Flathead, inline six, three-speed with an overdrive. The transmission's actually sitting in the back. Then we get to a bunch of overland parts that are up there. We've got some bodies, frames, bunch of engines. As you see this one has the uh, engine. So these are not Overland Whippets. These are actually just Overland, which I found out. So all this stuff, these parts are early 1920s. I believe uh, Whippet came in around 26. I could be wrong, but that's what I seem to remember. Bunch of transmissions, engines, body parts. Uh, see the 
dashboard cal there fenders there's if you were fairly ambitious you could definitely put together a very cool car and i know some of these overland parts are not particularly easy to find it's not an overland body as far as i remember i wasn't able to find out any identifiers on the body and this is a 20s chevy truck frame and uh steering wheel it's really not a huge amount there but it's definitely a very old part this is a 76 lincoln mark IV. So Continental Mark IV is the two-door. And then we've got a few tractors. This is a Ford 3400 utility. It's got a bucket on the front. Then we get to a John Deere. I'm not exactly sure what year it is. And then a Minneapolis Moline. This got a dump on the front of it. So there is uh, quite a bit of interesting vehicles, tractors, and here's the website of where it's currently at. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, check out rt66auctions.com.